Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the new Walmart exclusive Jack Specific Jax Gold Series. Why, this is a cell shaded Sonic the Hedgehog with his handy dandy little skateboard right here. I actually, popped up on the Walmart app. And I ordered one, and it showed up the next day, so that's pretty cool. Although the box has uh, seen better days, let's just be honest. Now, I will say this. This is, it looks like, Jack Specific's attempt to be like, let's do a little bit more premium, right? They did this with GameStop with some of the Super Mario figures. Now they're going to do it at Walmart with some of the Super Mario, different box and such. But, uh, yeah, nice artwork every which way. You can see the box, it's all creased right there. But I'll tell you this. I really like Jack Specific's toys, right? I love their Mario line, especially. I dabble in the Sonic the Hedgehog, the classic stuff, much like this. But I don't see Sonic the Hedgehog, Jack Specific, Mario stuff as super premium. You know what I mean? And for them to say, well, okay, let's do a fancy box and do all this kind of stuff. And then let's tack on a few extra bucks. I don't think that's the way to go, to be honest with you. I like going in. They're at the uh, 10 11 $12 range. This one was $15. Yes, it's a, you know, it's, it's a nice fancy box. You get one accessory, and yes, you are getting a ton of extra paint, which did draw me to this figure. But of course, we'll open it up and get a look-see proper. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Jack Specific Jax Gold Sonic the Hedgehog cell shaded with skateboard. And while I got all you speedsters here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, let's talk a certain cell shaded blue hedgehog and we'll kick it off with his first accessory, his only accessory, which is a orange skateboard with blue wheels. It does have pegs on it. And it's <laughs> it's very cheapy, I'm going to be honest with you. It says Sonic, that's nice and crisp and clear. Hey, maybe it was based off that old uh, Sonic the Hedgehog game that was never made. Sonic Extreme, Tony Hawk meets Sonic the Hedgehog, I don't know. But uh, yeah, you know, with Sonic the Hedgehog running fast doing his thing, why isn't he a skateboard? I can do tech deck tricks all day long, or at least I will try to do tech deck tricks all day long. No, that doesn't work for me, but... Uh, in either sense, one way to kind of look at this is it's so unbelievably 90s with Sonic the Hedgehog, not only in his classic uh, look, and then you got a skateboard. <laughs> it's not the ideal accessory, let's just be honest. And with Sonic the Hedgehog himself, he's got a lot of paint deco going on this round, and he's very, we'll say, cartoonish, kind of, sort of, but not really... He's kind of comic bookish, kind of, sort of, but not really. He's kind of just his own thing. He's a number of things all in one, but the cell shaded aspect really drew me to that. I kind of like that. However, I will tell you that it's not really painted all that well. Let's be honest. It's crisp in some areas and blotchy in others. It's very inconsistent, and that's a bit of a bummer. It's not like, oh, man, uh, it's just not good at all. But I wouldn't say like, oh, hey, good job, right? It's kind of in between if you catch my drift. But uh, in, in all honesty, I, I will tell you this. They nailed the black parts, right, with the black highlights that they did. The white on the blue kind of works in some aspects. It just depends on where they kind of put it. Some of the lines in the actual mold of the toy itself kind of break that up. There is uh, a lot of problems, let's say, with too much black on the white parts it kind of gets uh, graffiti ish where it blends way too much very noticeable when you see it the whites on top of the colored parts that's where some of it kind of works and some of it yeah not so much you know what i mean that kind of thing there's nothing on the bottom of the feet that's probably a good thing right at this point you don't want to scratch anything up and one thing i want to point out it's the same exact mold so I had problems with the feet on the prior one. This one's got the same thing. I kind of wish instead of a skateboard, he had extra hands. Something to say, oh, we're going to go like this elevated gold thing. We're not going to just do the paint. We're going to put something extra in the box. Maybe a uh, extra, like a, like a peace sign or something like that. Rings, a TV, something more Sonic the Hedgehog than 
a skateboard. I mean, you, I'd take a hot dog too. You know what I mean? He's always chowing down on a hot dog. So, hey, why not, right? The other thing is they still haven't fixed the problem where this particular Sonic is very back heavy, right? He's going to go fall. And he's got those heavy quills, right? So you get him situated. He will stand. But uh, in certain aspects, yeah, you touch something he's standing on and he's going to take a tumble. But, I mean, it's a nicely designed Sonic. I'll give it to him all day. You take the skateboard. You line up the pegs. Uh, I'll give him this. It uh, it definitely works. It fits for this Sonic the Hedgehog. You can only get him standing on it one way because they're at the back, of course, unless you want to get crafty and figure out something. But, uh, yeah, okay. Do I really like this? It's like, yes. It's so cheesy, it's so corny, it's so 90s. It's Sonic the Hedgehog riding a skateboard, right? It's not ideal, it's not, uh, but it's also not like, yeah, you know what I mean? It's kind of just like, that's the bare minimum. Uh, you can do better than that, Jax, come on. But I will tell you this, though, he can hold the skateboard, so I definitely like that, right? I mean, that's something. At least he's got an accessory to hold. You can put the foot down on the back of the skateboard and prop it up. I definitely like that as well. When comparing Sonic the Hedgehogs from cell shaded to non cell shaded or even Mighty Armadillos or whatever the heck that thing is supposed to be, you see the difference. Yes, in some aspects, in some photography, in some light, the cell shaded look does work. It's really when you look up close you see the problem. So maybe if you get a chance to go through a few on the shelves, you might find a good looking one. Now I'll tell you, cell shaded action figures really seems to be in right now, right? So you got Marvel Legends doing it, you got Power Rangers doing it, but you got the cream of the crop doing it, and that's definitely NECA Toys. And the most recent Fugitoid really shows you how to do the whole cell shading comic book look right. When you compare it to Sonic, they get some things right, other things not so right, you know, it's really in that middle ground, but uh, you can definitely see what works, what doesn't, and you can see what works at a much higher price point as opposed to the $15 price point. There's that too. And really, the real reason I picked this guy up is because one, I was like, well, big fan of cell shaded uh, action figures, and uh, two... Well, it just kind of reminded me of the Archie days of Sonic and the cartoon and whatnot. And I thought, well, NECA does a great job with their cell shaded stuff. Probably will look good together, right? And well, let's say this. At some point back in the 90s, when Archie had Ninja Turtles and Archie had Sonic the Hedgehog, eh, they didn't exactly cross over. But they did little tongue-in-cheek aspects, like you'll see here. Sonic zooming through a sewer system, and you see the Ninja Turtles in the background. Or, you know, making a tongue-in-cheek joke about uh, trying to boost your sales by having a cameo appearance by Michelangelo. So, you know, it just, it goes well in that sense. It's fun for your shelf. And plus, you can throw in Mondo Gecko, and it's just a bunch of skateboarding dudes hanging out. So, in all honesty, if you were going for this for your Ninja Turtle collection like I did, it would be pretty cool. But I'll tell you this. While, yes, I'm immediately drawn to the cell shadedness of this figure, uh, the skateboard, it really doesn't do much for me outside of like, wow, this is an extremely 90s Sonic the Hedgehog, right? So you could go with that route. But I don't think that the cell shaded paint is all that great. To be quite honest, it kind of looks like I made the attempt at doing it. And I don't customize anything. However, there are good and bad aspects to it. The black lines are solid. They look great. It's just that a lot of the paint gets really uneven. Instead of the skateboard, I would have much rather had something that applies more to Sonic. This version of Sonic. Extra hands would have been cool. Really elevate this sculpt because just repurposing it, repainting it, and slapping a new price tag in a fancy box... I really don't want to see Jax do that. I like the way they kind of do their figures. You walk into a store and you can usually find any of their Mario figures, any of their Sonic figures. So don't go too fancy is all I'm saying. But I will say this. I'm happy with this guy, but I'm not going to necessarily recommend it. This is one of those where if you're really into Sonic, sure, thumbs up. But uh, it, there's, there's a lot of problems where I'd say, like, yeah, this might be a pass. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new cell shaded Sonic the Hedgehog from the Jack Pacific. Jack's Gold line, will you be grabbing? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm actually really looking forward to Sonic the Hedgehog too, right? I'm not the biggest Sonic the Hedgehog fan, 
But I actually really like the first movie, and I'm really looking forward to the second one with that whole Robotnik robot. Fingers crossed it's good. So, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, Jaleel White, a.k.a. Urkel, voiced Sonic the Hedgehog in the old 90s cartoon. Ah, mind blown. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.